From the depths of the harbour, a mythical figure emerges. Far from the Scottish Highlands, this monster's found a home in country Victoria and the local residents are on the case. So we don't know who's doing it, uh, but they do just turn up and it's just a little mystery. Other statues started popping up around town as Portland's Banksy got busy under the cover of darkness. But just who is the mystery artist? Portland's residents are on the case, but they're not looking too hard. Oh, we're loving it, aren't we? I just love the fact that no one knows who it is. Yeah, and that each time one's discovered, it's uh, in the local paper and everyone's talking about it. Even City Hall's getting involved by not getting involved. Oh, look, I think we're focused on, you know, the things that we need to do around COVID and I don't think we need to spend too much time um, with those investigations. Lincoln Roberts is famous for painting Portland pit covers and that made him the prime suspect. I'm not responsible, I deny that. I would love to have been able to, but I'm sorry to say it's not me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I would tell it you if it was me. <laughs> Art experts say the value of the sculptures to the community is immeasurable, even if they don't know the artist. It's much broader than just dollars. It's social connection. It's critical thinking. It's um, aspirational and innovation. Uh, it has so many different things that it brings to us. As Nessie disappears behind me with high tide, so do residents' chance to capture a glimpse of something that's fast becoming its most famous icon. Authorities have yet to determine the figure behind this guerrilla art spree, and the town's residents are more than happy for that to remain a mystery. Daniel Miles, ABC News, Portland.